Ooh, welcome everybody. This is Heaven's Army playing some Paper Mario. Now, I know that I got to get Shaquizmo done. And I wrote it up in the title. I don't know what I'm going to call it on YouTube, but if people show up and be like, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> I'll try to explain as much as I can, but this is what I was mentioning a long time ago, back in my earlier episodes, the first ones. Things that I'm going to be doing. That's I'm, I'm going to assume a lot different than what everyone else is going to be doing. Which is... It's, this ain't really a full place. Well, there you are. But I gotta do the grinding things to get things done. And I don't know who's crazy enough to do this live. So I guess I'm gonna learn if this is the right way or not. To show everything that you would do in a video game or not. Oh wait, I'm getting pretty high up in these questions. <clears throat> How many star spirits do you have to save? How many star spirits? Well, seven. Congratulations. Here's your star piece. Well, that wasn't too bad. I can live with that. 18. Oh, okay, so I'm not very far at all, then. So, this is what I'm going to be doing, I guess, is making Qu Chuck Quizmo spawn over and over and over again until I get him done, which is a, what I would consider a grind, in a way. But this grinding doesn't bother me. I, don't, I could grind forever on an RPG game to get it mastered or done, whichever words you wish to use. Oh, Chuck Quizmo. I'm going to save in case things go awry. Kyle Wiz is everyone's favorite Chuck Quizmaster Chuck Quizmo. Did I spell your name right? C H U C K Quizmo. Oh look at that, I spelt your name right. Well that's good. I'm glad. <laughs> and the title. Oh boy. Question, what you got for me, Chuck? What's the name of the elderly Koopa Troopa who always asks for Aaron to be on Koopa Crab? Really? The old Koop is good enough too, but now nah, it's Koopa Coot. Because he's a coot. Correct. Congratulations, Heaven's Army. You got another star piece. You have a million more to go. Not a million, but quite a bit. Well, well, so long. Goodbye, Chuck Quizmo. I'll see you in a couple of seconds, hopefully. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to be running back and forth through this. I mean, I can't see how this is going to be... Uh, live streamer of the year award I'm going to get from this, but... <laughs> What else? This is what you gotta do to beat games, and like I said, like I tried to say, or hopefully I did say it, I'm gonna play these games kind of the way I would play it. And I'm just, I'm just gonna put them on live, and if people want to show up and watch, great. If you don't, well then, there's millions of other people you could watch, and you'll find someone that you enjoy to, to watch. Chuck Quizmo, you need to be here or there, but not too far away. Problem is, you can. I gotta spawn th these two, two more pipes. And if he doesn't show up, then I gotta run to the other pipes. So I'm hoping he's always here. And I don't think. I mean, I'm gonna try this right now. I didn't even think to try this. Go in and out, and hopefully he's here. But I doubt that. Highly, highly doubt that. They, he tries to show up in different areas. He's not gonna. Lucky enough if he keeps showing up in these three, but I doubt it. Highly doubt it, actually. There you are. Oh, well, that's good. So, yeah, that is what I'm going to try to do. I mean, people can tell me otherwise, like, no, no, don't. Don't show the people this. This is what will send them all away forever. And then, of course, I would stop, but... My plan is, how many bomb bombs besides Bomit were imprisoned in the jail at the Koopa Bros Fortress? 4, 8, 12. There was not 12. And there was not 8. There was only 4. My... Okay, I should have been doing this number of questions... After the... <laughs> after the fortress. Oh, boy. Anyway, no, we're just going to keep going back and forth from place to place. I'm going to laugh my head off if Chuck is here. I mean, Chuck's such a... Chuck doesn't seem like a, a quizzer's name, but Chuck Quizmo kind of smooths it out, I see. 
Um, he's in the usual spots. He's always in the spot where I had him here before. Or down here. I mean, he's, he's, he's in set spots, but he's just randomly strewn about. And I don't really remember. At the door, probably, and then... So yeah, my that's my plan anyway. Play games to enjoy. People will eventually show up. That's my plan. You know, you know Heaven's Army's secret ultra plan now. Oh, Mr. Quizmo. Now I get to go back to the Koopa Village one more time, and if he's not here, then... Then darn. There you are. And this is what I'm going to be doing. Hopefully I get them done tonight. Yes, I would love to try this quiz, Mr. Quizmo. Question. Where is the house of the Explorer Colorado? Um, Koopa Village. That's a nice easy one for... Maybe I'm not even close to halfway done. Uh, I hope not. Correct. Congratulations. Here's your star piece. Thank you. You correctly answered 21. This is going fast enough, actually. I, you know what? I should just make absolute certain that he's not over there. And maybe I shouldn't save so much. I mean, I, I doubt the questions are going to get hard. And if they are hard, I, I need, I'll need a shout out pretty quick. <laughs> so, just yell the answers right away. Don't worry, I'll, even, if, even if you type them down and the show is already done, I'll challenge, uh, channel those answers and they will become correct. On, on the live stream. That will already be done. Oh, Chuck Quizmo, come on. All elusive all of a sudden. There's no need. Oh, this village, you can scan it very quickly. Why can't he always be here? Oh no, he's not here. No, I'm gonna have to go much further. Gotta run through Toad Town. Oh, thank goodness you're here. Kyle Wiz is everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo. Want to try the quiz? Yes. Let's go to the question. I, I don't know if I need to read this off all of the time, do I? What is the parts from Toad Town? Well, okay, it's it's not a, these, there's no such thing as track questions. It's just Mount Rugged. It goes straight to Mount Rugged, right? There's no like, there's no there's not they're not gonna pull off something tricksy on me, right? It's straightforward. 22. Okay, there's no no worries. I've played many, many, many games where they're like... The answer... The an the obvious answer would be that, but oh, I don't know. I just... Too many quizzes. Too many tricky qu questions in my, my lifetime. <laughs> I don't trust questions, obviously. I just learned this now. I've noticed he hasn't spawned here yet. Interesting. I mean, during this this episode, I mean. Oh, there you are. Yes. Kawiz, it's this guy again. 
With the star pieces, quite a bit of them. He must be quite the adventurer to get all those pieces. Where's the name of the fellow who sells badges in Toad Town? That would be Rolf. <laughs> Merlot, Colorado, really? Correct. Questions, congratulations. Okay, questions are not too bad. I'm just waiting for them to be like, how many blades of grass did you count all along Mount Rugged? And then it's like, five, fifty-five or five hundred, I don't know, some terrible number, five, six, or seven. And there'd be no way to know. There'd be absolutely no way to know. Until I go, I could actually, no, like if I could wait and I could load up one of my episodes and watch and count as I go through. That that would be the only way. No, I'm not going to wait that long. That's a whole hour. Of... Well, I mean, I could put on super speed. Two times the speed, I guess. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. No one saw that. Run through the crowds and bushes. There you go. Made my escape. Colorado's safe and sound at home. Wow. I hope the next game actually takes off from this from this place and goes on instead of just you know up and getting rid of everything that that this great foundation has been built upon i mean i think people get bored going back and forth to the same places but add more places it'll go to more distant destinations and stuff chuck quizmo would never be up there right there, there's i i i don't think he would be I've been wrong though, so he may be up there, and I just missed him. And oh, keep keep spawning here, cause this is awesome. Kyle Wiz, it's this guy. He's the quiz guy. Gives you questions. Gives you answers. At least he gives you with the right answer. What treasure did Bowser steal from Star Haven? Well, it's the Star Rod. And Prin No, he didn't steal from from Star Haven. He only stole Princess Peach from her castle. Bessie, tricky, tricky questions, I'm telling you. You correctly answered 24 questions so far. I am moving on very quickly. Maybe I should have done this <laughs> a long time ago instead of right at the end. Oh boy. What happens when I get all the questions done? And, I, and I'm quite certain I explored all the world. And then I, I, I accept, well, you know, I didn't go up to Star Haven and further to Bowser's place. Oh, uh, maybe. Oh, ch there you are. Ch save. Just in case. He does say Ka Wiz, right? I mean, I just, that's what I read. Question What is the color of the roof of the house in Koopa Village where you can listen to the radio? See, okay, that is tricky. It... Question is the r the house is the house right here Is the house right here the radio? <laughs> okay, well that's why I got it right. Thank goodness. I'm like I'm here in Cooper Village, yellow and green and red. Oh, interesting. Oh, well, I'm glad I looked at that. I'm watching myself also on Twitch, so I got quite a delay from what's actually happening. And I'm like, oh, that's a blue roof, and that's the radio, right? <laughs> well, that worked out just fine. When Chuck Quizmo shows up at the end of here, um, he's oop, oh now you double jump. Um, he's gonna be off in a terrible place, I think, like to Yoshi's Island or something, pretty far away, and that makes me do a lot of running. But I can eventually get him to spawn back in here again, and that's what I want to keep doing, because this is the best way to get him done, from what I know. Ka Wiz. Okay, that is what he says. Okay. Good enough. I, I don't know why I'm reading this and going, amazing, that is what he's saying, after all this time. Question. 
What does... Who, what, who does Cooper idolize? He idolizes Colorado. Because he was like talking about Colorado and Adventures the first time I met him. But then after he hung around with me for you know, a couple of minutes, he was like, Oh, Mario, you're the, you're the man. So yeah, that's what happened. True story. It happened off camera, off, off stream, off live stream, but it happened. No, oh, maybe he just says you're cool anyway at the end of the, right right away after I save him get his shell back. Yeah, that's what happened. How is Cool question. What does Merle of Dry Dry Outpost specialize in? Oh, cooking all the way. Um, she doesn't fortune tell, she casts spells on me and and makes me stronger. Yay! Okay, so far still not too bad. The the blue roof would have got me if I wasn't in um, Koopa Village when that question happened. Uh, <laughs> and I wasn't on a delay, so I'm glad that one worked out fine. I'll save them later. So yeah, saved by stream delay. That's that's pretty interesting. I keep wanting to run down and out. I gotta get back into the to this mode where I got to spawn Chuck Quizmo over and over again. So we're gonna see a lot of this these places over and over in rapid succession I, I would have to say okay you're not here I really hope he doesn't spawn up there because that would be bad I don't think he does Chuck Quizmo so I'll pass on that on running up there this is the only way I know how to make him spawn though there you are cow is it's yes we've, we've done this 28 times now Chuck Quizmo Question, who hides inside a coffin in Dry Dry Runes? <laughs> Mummy Man! Well, Mousetafa's here in place, so it's, uh, Pokemon. Pokemummy. There you go. That one's not too bad either. Questions are still doable. For now. I'll wait until we get to, like, question 100. I don't think there's that many questions, but... I'm not even reading your words there, uh, Chuck Quizmo. We've we've done this enough. I'm just waiting for him to be like, uh, okay, let's just get this question done. <laughs> that would make me smile. Nah, he's he's one of those talk show hosts. He's on the episode. He's got to he's got to do like perfect, perfect performance every time the, with the that catchy opening. So. Does he? Does Chuck spawn over here? Probably not. There you are. I. That's why I always run down here because that happens sometimes too. Yes. What happens if I say no? Do I like miss a question? Or does he disappear and I can try again? I don't want to find out. What can you get when you take star pieces to Merlot at Shooting Star Summit? Oh, I get badges. Okay, I played this game once, so I know those answers. <laughs> uh, okay, but I'm still I'm waiting for them to, to pull out some terrible question. Hard, hard, hard questions. I mean, not terrible questions. Like, the hardest ones you can think of. Like, how many leaves is on this tree up here? <laughs> I, I wouldn't know. I could, I guess I could Google it, but that'd be cheating. No, no Googling. So, those two people who are now watching, um... I may need your expertise in these questions if you have done them. If I get stuck, that is. If I'm like, oh no, I don't know the question. I, I would definitely need your help. Oh, Chuck 
Quizmo, you need to be here. I see Pixelies is back, so that's great. Or Pixels. Welcome back, by the way. Oh, there you are, Chuck. Mind if I call you Chuck? Not you. Not you, Pixel. Chuck Quizmo, I mean. <laughs> I can't multitask conversations either, it seems. Let's get to the question, which is... Who... Who knew the location of Dry Dry Runes in Dry Dry Desert? Who knew? Mustafa knew, because Colorado was looking around and Gumbario was... is my... yeah, so... I'm not... Howdy, howdy indeed. I mean, these questions are... They, they give you one person that is relevant, one person that isn't, and then the correct answer. I got 30 done so far. Alright, we're doing great. Because Colorado was there, just standing at the tent going, Hmm, I'm going to have to figure this one out. And then I just solved the mystery. Yeah, that's Colorado for you. Sometimes I jump, and sometimes I don't. I don't know what that's about. Maybe I'm holding on my... There you are, Chuck. So maybe he doesn't spawn all the way to the right. Let's go to the question. Question. When you want taste tea, who loves cooking to make lemon candy, what do you have to give her besides a lemon? Well, I'm glad I did all of this cooking last night. <laughs> Cake mix. <laughs> wow, that one was pretty much what I'd done last night instead of like many weeks ago. That's that's great. Weeks or days, I don't know how. I don't keep track of time. Yes, yes, Chuck. You say it's so long farewell. I'm gonna see you in like three seconds. Like this is some kind of hoax to him. So I said if, if uh, Chuck Quizmo spawns, I thought he would spawn all the way to the right. He's going to be, oh no, he's here. That's good. I, I want him to be here. Let's go to the question. Question. Who among the following lives in Forever Forest? Junior Troopa lives left of Goomba Village. Clefs are on Mount Reservoir, whatever that place is called. So it's Oakley, just by process of elimination. And I don't know that that person's name was Oakley, but there you go. The strange bearded man in the forest, his name is Oakley. Next time you play this game, remember, say hi to Oakley for me. Uh, 32 questions, and moving on. So I gotta run to the left. Hopefully he spawns over here, which would be great. And then spawn back, because I think this extra load screen that I do helps out. Well, I mean, I like to think it helps out, and then that makes me smile. I'm gonna save. That's 32 questions. That's a good spot to save, I, I like to think. I didn't jump that time, why? No, I could still jump at the end of the spin. I don't know what's going on with this. Oh, that time I jumped perfectly. Wow. Yay. Everyone's favorite. Wow, you are very popular there, Chuck Quizmo. If you're everyone's favorite. Question. What are booze exactly? <laughs> they're, they're, she they're sheets. Pick that answer. There you go. And there we go. 
Doing well, doing well. No, I haven't messed up yet, which is what I'm dreading. I'm, uh, I'm gonna pick the wrong answer. Or I'm gonna like mash through the button or hit a button, something. And it's gonna cause me to pick the wrong answer. Oh, that'd be terrible. Anyway, I've, I've done all these questions before, so... In theory, I should be able to handle this. In practical... I don't know, there's some fancy, fancy science, science words I want to use. Well, we won't use those right now. My brain doesn't need it to get hurt. Um, but yeah, I don't know how many more questions there are. I'm thinking 64, because this is on a Nintendo 64. But I'm hoping there's more, so that I could just have all the star pieces, buy them all, and then take on Bowser once and for all. That would make me be okay with that. I don't think Chuck Quizmo spawns over here. I think he rarely spawns into the other places. Not rarely, but he usually doesn't go over there. When you go on for the story, he, he makes an appearance over there. Quiz master. He is the quiz master, is he? But I'm answering all of his questions, so am I the question master or the quiz master? That is a qu What appears when you hit the Wacka living on Mount Rugged? You get Wacka's bump. You don't get a heart or a mushroom. Correct. So, so far, it's still so good. So I still have two plans about when I beat Paper Mario and I still don't have a video capture for my PlayStation TV 4 and, and th 3 and 4. And I said I I may ha I may have to start up Pokemon Silver and Gold Heart Soul Silver and Heart Gold. I won't be playing the old one. I'll get played the little bit a uh, little bit updated one. Um, and may have to, but I realize I can also do something else that involves. I mean, everyone's done everything by now. But I'm gonna I could do MMOs and show them off. <laughs> There's two things I can do. One, the, one, the one that I'm assuming everyone wants me to do is play Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I'll assume that much, but that's going to take a lot of time. And if my PlayStation 3 and 4 comes back and I can play it, other than lemons, what fruit drops when you hit a tree in the desert oasis? Okay. So yeah, I mean, I would love to be able to play my games again, because I'm pretty much near the end for Final Fantasy X as well, for the story. Not quite the end of the game for for um, what I gotta do, because there's many, many, many hours of grinding, which I, I haven't grinded much live for Final Fantasy X. I don't think people want to see that. Everyone gets to do that when they play the game. I don't know. There's, there's. I wanna, I wanna play Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Um, I also wanna get Final Fantasy X done since I'm so close, and I wanna play some Bloodborne since people were enjoying that as well. Of course, why, why would they not be? But so yeah, I don't know. I got so many things I wanna do. Not enough time in the world to do them all. But yeah, we'll, we'll work on it. I guess as we go. Okay, this is, I just noticed I haven't seen Chuck Quizmo in a bit. Okay. If not, then I have to go elsewhere. One more time to the... I should also try to remember where I got the questions done. 
because I don't think you could spawn them by going back and forth to these three. Eventually, if he goes somewhere else, you have to go there. I think. Oh, there you are. Thank goodness. Yes. Question. What is the name of the strange person in Toad Town who increases Mario's status? Rat Cheapa, never heard of you. Diz Ones, never heard of you. And Chet Repo, I did talk to that person. Well, there we go. Here's your start piece. I seriously don't know how many more questions there are. Oh, I'm gonna spawn. I'm also keep running over here just because it seems to get him to stay over in these three pipes. And that is what I want. Is for that Chuck Quizmo to stay in these three areas. I need questions like, what does Bombette like to do? Which is explosions. I need nice, easy questions. I don't want them to... Oh, nice, quick. I hit that button right on, right on the conversation. Nice. What abilities does Bombette frequently use? <laughs> Alright, well, that's that's what I want. Nice, easy questions. I did not know Bombette was an axe. I had no idea. <laughs> wow. Alright, then. If that's how it's going to be. Um, let, let's just keep this going then, if, if I'm gonna get easy questions like that. I want the next question to be, what is uh, Mario known for, for job status? That That's the next question I, I want. Come on, make them nice and easy. Plumber by day, superhero by... No, he's basically a superhero all the time. Plumber for... I have no idea. I, you know, it's, uh, the answer is plumber, but... If hero's there, it's gonna confuse me if hero and plumber's there. If I can't decide between the both. There you are. Keep spawning here, Chuck Wismo. Yes. Mario question. Come on. What does Gourmet Guy like? Well, the last time I fed him cake, he flipped out and... There we go. Alright, so that was Gourmet Guy. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that these are easy still. Oh, I'm gonna run to the left. Make, make, I, wanna, I want this to stay the way it's going. I'm gonna keep going back and forth the way I'm going. <laughs> it seems to be working. This is what I did before too though. On the actual Nintendo 64. Okay. There you are. What is Chuck Quizmo? Is he like a snail slug? A, a, a face with a colorful sock? Is he a sock? Is he one of those arm... arm warmers? Sleeve... arm... forearm warmers? I have no idea what Chuck Quizmo is. He has a yellow tie. Who was the second companion to join your team? All right, uh, 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 Goombario was first, and then I went and got Cooper, and then I got Bombette. Don't you? That was all. Oh, that one almost got me. 
He's a, a worm? A oh, worm's another very good question. Chuck Quizmo. Yeah, he, that's just his name. He has yellow hair underneath that hat. Oh no, that, that could be attached to the hat. But a worm is a very good question. Very good one. I just went from normal to, to socks. I, I don't know. And then arm warmers. I have no idea where I'm going with that. Anyway, yeah, a worm. Some kind of snail thingy. Um, sock is still up for debate, though. We're, we're not we're not dropping the sock thing. Oh, you're right here. Keep spawning like in like one tube after another. Yes. Question. Who tried to steal coins from you in the desert? Well, pokies don't steal. And Nomad Mouse is the nice mouse guy that you get a letter and deliver to him. So, that rules that out. Here's your star piece. Why must I do these questions for these, um, star pieces? Is this, like, game play? Okay, that's 40, right? I'll try to save every, every 10, maybe. That yellow hair. That's his eyes because he just blinked with them. Fancy hat. Awesome bow. Oh, he does got stripes like a worm. But he could be a snake. <laughs> but he's got he's got the, the a worm worm like features, but question. I best pay attention. I, these questions could be getting hard. What is the name of the star spirit who can use Star Storm? Oh, my favorite star spirit. Not Eld Star, because that's the old one. Muscular is the, the big tough looking blue one, I think. So, Scholar. That one was easy, because that's my favorite star one. If you would have asked any other ones other than Elder, because that kind of gives it away, um, I probably would have got that one wrong. Well, well, so long farewell till we meet again. I mean, uh, that healing start with 20 HP, that's not bad either, but I haven't... Did I need to actually use it for realsies in this game yet or not? I don't even know. Oh, this place again. This looks familiar. Oh, but that looks different. We'll talk to this person. Of course we're going to the question. I just talked to you and said yes to your question. Wait a minute, that should give me two star pieces. What are addressed to your companions and sent to the post office? Not parcels. Not handbills. Letters. It has to, if it's parcels, I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna backflip somehow. While still wearing my headset attached to my computer. Laptop. No way, I won't do that. So I think I'm doing this right for going in this screen. 
backing out. Going into uh, Cooper Village, go to the other screen and back out. I think that's what's keeping um, Mr. Quizmo in these three areas. Yes, I do. Now, that was a question. That should be a star piece, right? Among the following, which building is not in Toad Town? Well, there's a shop, and there's a train station. I don't remember a mayor's house. The mayor's house is in the Penguin Village. Okay. That one, that one wasn't tricky, but my brain was like... I mean, what could be considered a mayor's house? <laughs> but, uh, anyway, don't need, to, don't need to overthink this, it seems. It seems to be, I'm up to 40-something, and the questions didn't get, get crazy on me. So I, I'm thinking I'm alright. We're good for the home stretch now. I need... I, but in case they do get hurt, I, 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 I don't want them to. I want them to be like, does Colorado have a wife? Yes, no, or maybe. Just, just ran past Colorado. Let's go to the question. Um, what kind of buck, book, buck? What kind of book did Gourmet Guy drop? Cooking book for taste tea, so I could use two ingredients and make even better cakes. Here's your star piece. Well, this is going along very, very smoothly. I wonder if it's not that he's in one set place, but there's a chance for him to spawn in certain places, and it's triggered when you go to them. That would be fine, but I think all I would have to do is jump in this tube, jump, and then jump right back in and run back and forth, um, and and and, uh, and just run back and forth in in between this screen and this in this area, and he eventually will pop up. You know what? I don't want to try that. My system that I've done a long time ago is working, and he's staying here in these three places. But I know for, for what I remember, that Chuck Quizmo will eventually go over to the, the Boo's, Boo's Mansion, uh, Yoshi Island, and hopefully not over to the Ice Place, because that would be, that I would not want that. And since I'm talking about it, it might happen, so let's just hope he's in Koopa Village. Well, I, I hope you're right, uh, Pixels. I really, really hope you're right. But I do remember him not spawning when I did this before. Oh, there he, there he is, though. But it only happened because I didn't go to this area. I went to this area and and out. I didn't I didn't go back and forth like I did in this in uh, Koopa Village and uh, the Dry Dry Outpost. Question. Who am I? Oh, no. This is this is a hard one. This is a hard one. Sir Quizzleby. IQ Testa. Or Chuck Quizmo. <laughs> the questions are now... They have now stepped up. I must be on my game. This is it. This is the... This is the turning point. Okay. Phew. I I'm gonna have to save now. This is... Yep. Yeah. This is that's that's the turning point. It has to be. There's no reason why he'd give me a question like that. That's what I'm hoping, and I hope he resets in these areas every time. But I mean, I hope this doesn't happen. Eventually, he's not going to spawn here though, and I have to leave because he'll actually show up, and he'll stay there until you get until you go there. I think. Look, it's Sir Quizzleby. Question. Where do I show up? Okay, this is another one of these. On the street is where you show up. In the jail. In towns and villages. That seems like the right one. Ok, 
congratulations. You are conscious of of what your surroundings. In the in the jail, not in jail, in the jail. So I'm I'm guessing, since Nintendo is family oriented, I think they must have meant. Uh, it must have meant th the jail in uh, Koopa, Koopa's Fortress. That jail, because that's the only jail that's in here in this entire game. <laughs> but yeah, very good on them to put that there. Good, good on you, Nintendo. You still, you still have my respect. Maybe I'm just sucking up for for a job there, but hey, <laughs> guess something can't be helped. Oh, there you are. Um. What's uh, Sir Quizzleby? Um, IQ, um, IQ test, IQ testa. Yeah, I was paying attention a little bit. Question: What is the name of the plant that grows in Jade Jungle and blows out stars? Not a hurt plant, and I've because those hurt you. Those you fight, and bell bell plants make jingling things, so... Trumpet. Blows out stars and makes a... No, I was gonna say a cute noise. Bah! Makes a noise. Of some sound... Of some degree. That number's looking good. And I got loads of time. We're... We're... We're alright. We're in good standards. So, what happened to me was I would run straight to the... To the tube and go to the next area. And that's when he eventually spawned over to the other places. But I'm coming over here, and I'm hoping this is keeping him in these three areas. Dude, that's the only difference I've, I've noticed what I'm doing from actual in Nintendo 64 to this game. I'm gonna run to the end just in case if he does show up. I I thought he does show up here, uh, but I just saw him here, so I, I'm guessing maybe not. But um, I don't know, so I'm gonna run back there anyway. I just uh, just noticed something. I mean, I've only played this game for how many hundreds hundreds of hours. Is all the pipes blue? Or is there yellow and green ones like the other Mario games? Especially like Super Mario. Let's go to the question. Question. What color was the leader of Yoshi's village? He was green. I know this. Yeah. Pink or blue. Bah. So there you go. Waste not, what not. I'm going to pick that up. That probably just changed the whole coding of the game, and now he's not going to spawn here. The ones that connect you to towns are blue. So, if I go to Mario's house, is that one blue as well? Oh, I think the ones that go down into... the one, Oh, there you are. The ones that go down into a cave is green. Oh my goodness! I think I think you're onto something, Pixels. Kawas is everyone's favorite. Quiz with that person. They can't even speak now. Great. Question: What is the name of the elderly man who tells fortunes in Toad Town? Not Merlo and not Merlovely. It's Merlin. Yeah, that's that's no problem. I, I think you're onto something. I think the ones that go down to normal places are green. Wow. 
Okay, there you go. The shortcut ones. Okay, well, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out when I go to Mario's place to see Chuck Quizmo's qu uh, questions being maxed out. If it's green or blue, and if it's if that one's a shortcut, then we'll go to we'll go to the uh, Yoshi's Island. Oh, there you are, and and find out if the one that I think is green is actually green, which I'm thinking it is by my thoughts. What number am I on? I'm just not at all paying attention. I'm just nailing, finishing these questions as fast as I can. How many colors of Yoshi's did you see in Yoshi Village? I have green, yellow, blue. Alright, I only counted five. So. Yeah! <laughs> What color was I missing? I'm sorry, Yoshi. There's one of you, one of you colors that I forgot. I'm like, uh, good enough for me. And I could count more than five, just because there's only five digits of, of fingers on my one hand. I could count higher. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> All right, that's fifty. Save. Yeah. Blue, yellow, green. Red. Is there a purple one? Is there purple ones? Is, is that the color I'm missing? Is purple? How dare I? But is... Because... Pink, pink Yoshis? Light... Okay, I'll, I'll say light blue is, is purple. But see... It can't be purple, because purple is a mixture of red and blue. I don't know. I'm thinking... I don't remember a pink one. I'm gonna have to, we're gonna have to go there. Oh, no, there's definitely not a black Yoshi, because everyone would be... That would be their main Yoshi. That would be the awesome colored Yoshi. Heck yeah. Definitely not a black Yoshi, though. Question. Okay, well, here we go. How would the Yoshi kids in Yoshi's Village describe sushi? Um, not easygoing. Not sleepy. So bossy. What is this? The new... The new dwarves? Easy, sleepy, and bossy? Fifty-one. Please tell me I'm nearing the end. Okay, if you think this pink, then it's probably... There's a lot of pink in this game. There's a pink bandana and a pink bomb behind me. And a pink uh, Goomba. So I'm thinking there's a pink Yoshi as well. Now that you're saying pink. And I'm, I guess, purple. Pink it is. But we're gonna find out. Chuck Quizmo has a question like that? I want to know. Good enough for me. If it's there, I'll remember. Hey, wait a minute. Are you <laughs> if it is, and it's purple, if there's purple and pink, I I'm gonna be like, oh no. What buildings is across from the Toad Town Post Office? What building is across? Across from... To when they mean across, across is a from the other side of the street. And the only thing across from there is Ralph's Bad Shop and the Flower Garden. Okay, that's across. Beside the post office is Merlin's house. And since Ralph and the Flower Gardens is not a, is is the answer and it's across, I'm gonna have to go at Merlin's house. Okay. 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 I was holding my breath there a little bit. But that's not a cross. That's on beside it. But yeah, you are you are right, Pixels. It's Merlin's house. One hundred percent. Don't worry, I get directions like that all the time too. A cross is yeah, across the road. So, um, 
Bombette is across from Mario, and Bombette is beside Mario. Across. On the same side, but beside, or next, or any other word that describes this. This does not mean across. Oh, I don't know why I'm talking to you. And this does not mean across. He's not across from me. He's beside me. This is where I get my directions all confuddled. When people say across or beside. Because I like to think, you know, across is across. But that's just me. That's just what I what I see, and what I what what I get to deal with. <laughs> Either way, if Ralph's shop was there, I would have been doomed because the answer was Merlin's house. Oh, you're here. Well, I'm glad. Now, sir, what are you doing? Wait a minute. I could get them to talk to each other. Oh no, I just ruined it. There you go. Eh, another chatting. Okay, no. Let's get these done. Oh, well, if you do pass out, make sure you land on a soft spot. So, yeah. I'll, I'll get this done in no time. And then there'll be action happening. Major boss battles. Fire everywhere. And stars going all over the place. That's what's going to happen next soon. Hopefully soon. Question. What kind of card do you get when you defeat Lee at the dojo in Toad Town? There's... Lee is the ghost. The other feller, which I can't even think of his name. So, second degree is, is the right answer. It has to be. Okay, no problem. See? No problem. Third degree you get from the master. And I remember Lee being the ghost, so that was the second one. Well, we're zipping through these. Um, I may even make the episode go on a little longer. Just so that I could get these questions done. Oh, there you are. I'm glad he's here, too, and not all over the world. What color is the brooch that Princess Peach wears? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. What are you owing about, or ooing? What are you owing? Okay. It's 64 questions? Well then I am- I think it's 64 too, so I'm hoping for that. What color of brooch? Okay, Princess Peach wears a lot of pink. We'll- we'll establish this right now. Okay. So we're not gonna say pink. Yeah, I th uh, you're, you're on the right thing there. I don't remember anything red. Yeah, I'm thinking blue too, Pixels. Exactly. I, I don't remember seeing red popping out on Peach's pink. That'll be un, uncontrastable. Blue it is. Is my... my I, I'm going with Pixels. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Pixels. That's what I was deducing it down to, too. Because I, I could not see red there. You've correctly answered 54 questions so far. Ten more questions, everyone. I want to save. This is like, we're. I think. I think there's ten more. Am I keeping you awake by taking so long to decide my answers, uh, Pixels? So that one was actually a little tricky. Oh, there you are. Wow. Yay. So, if that one was Trixie, is this one going to be really, really hard as well? Who gave you miracle water in flower fields? Really? Okay, Lily, because Lily was in the water, and Lily gave me water. 
Yeah. So that one wasn't so bad again. Okay, so we're going back to easy again. Hopefully. <laughs> well, you have to get yourself back on a... Uh, a, a, a good uh, sleep schedule. That's number one thing to do is sleep. Other than, you know, breathing and hygiene and stuff. <laughs> Just, yeah, gotta, you gotta get yourself on a good sleep schedule. That's, that's the main thing to do. So, drink lots of coffee before bed. As many sugars as possible. And... Play many, very, very many video games, and that should put you to sleep. Don't listen to that. That was all very bad ideas. No eating or sleeping. No eating or sleep. No eating or drinking um, after a certain time, whatever that time may be. Um, um, if you can help it, where am I going? If you can help it, try to like turn off anything that makes you pumped up. Like for me, video games, I love playing video games, so if I could turn off video games one hour before going to sleep, that would help. Um, yeah, no eating or drinking because that gives you energy more than you know after a certain time. After supper would be a whatever, lunch or whatever it's called. Um, the last meal of the day. That should be the last meal, the last bit of food. And baths or showers would be the next thing to help you go to sleep. What is the name of Lecalister's girlfriend? I know it's Lickalulu because that wasn't so far ago. So far gone. So that I know that's the answer. That one was pretty recent. Fifty-six. Oh boy. We're nearing the end. I can feel it. This is the home stretch, everyone. But yeah, Heaven's Army approves of sleep schedules. <laughs> All the way. Oh, thank you for being right here next to a save spot. I should have saved before I went in and talked to you, though. That would have made me feel a little bit safer. All right, so, question. How do you make the pipe leading to the Toad Town Playroom come out? Um, I hit a tree. Okay, I that was a long time ago. <laughs> but I hit a tree, there's nothing else there. There's no switch or anything along those lines. 57. I hope it's 64. I hope 64 is the, the max number. That calls for a save. All the way to the end. If if these places are in the next Paper Mario, does Chuck Quizmo spawn back there at the very end? Is he even in it? There's many questions now that spawn from that. Um, I thought he went back there. I don't know. Maybe not, and I hope not. Oh, Chuck Quizmo, please be in Koopa Village. Please don't fail me now. My, my system was working so well that I really hope you're here. Oh no. I think they just force spawned him to go somewhere else. Oh no, no. Oh, there you are. Thank goodness. Don't do that to me, Chuck Quizmo. I can't- I, you, you can't leave these three pipes. That's, that's, that's one rule that I just made up. Among the following, who is inside Club 64? 
There's no dancers. A composer is the one that I talked to in Dry Dry, so it's Pop Diva. I mean, and she was there. Just dropped off the, uh, I forget what it was called, but the music, and she sang, and it wasn't copyrighted. YouTube gave me the thumbs up with that one and said, that was not a copyrighted song. You are good to go. And I'm like, thanks, YouTube. That one, so, we're nearing the end. I I, I know it is. I, it has to be 64, so. And the questions haven't gotten crazy. Oh, there you are. Good. I'm glad he's here still. <laughs> Let's go to the question. Which of the following do shy guys never do? They dance. I see them spinning around on their one foot all the time. And they run. Since they're shy, they don't sing. This is... this is brilliant deduction of these questions that that cuts the questions down to size and gives me the correct answer no matter what wow anyway good i'm glad that they're easy the whole way through That was two perfect jumps in a row, everyone. You should get a star piece for just jumping correctly in over those pipes twice in a row. Yay, keep spawning here. That's what, just as long as you keep spawning around these places. Question. What best describes the relationship between Mario and Luigi? Oh no. Well, they're just friends, right? No, they're brothers. Yeah, nice and easy. I like them. That's 60. We made it to the 60 mark. Yeah. They're friends, neighbors, or brothers. Wow. Was one of the uh, earlier first questions, what color is Mario's um, overalls? That question actually tripped, uh, tricked me the first time I was asked this question. I was like, well, Luigi's green. And I was like, I have no idea what color his, uh, his overalls is. Mario's is blue, right? So it's just like, ah, that one actually tricked me. That one's a good one. Yay, check Wismo. Among the following, who is found in Starborn Valley? 
We're way up now. We're not into the ice place. Lockatoos are in the f flowers. They're in the snow. So a ninji is totes the answer. Ooh, save. Just in case, I, I may get one wrong now, and I made it to the final, I'm thinking. Near, we're nearing the end of this. Okay, nope. Oh no, I talked to him from the left side, which is his right side. Is that going to change everything, maybe? How many companions do you travel with? Oh dang, okay. Gumbario, Koopa, Bombet, Paracary, um, Bao, Watt, and the, the dude with the spikes. And then... Um, um, I'm missing one more in the middle. The fish. Eight. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot about the fish. Oh, that would have been, that would have been bad. Oh my goodness, that was dangerous. I didn't even know how many there was following me. That's not good. <laughs> oh, I was like, hmm, seven seems like a convenient number considering I'm chasing seven star spirits. Wow. Dangerous, very dangerous indeed. Yep, it, it, I did forget about sushi. <laughs> wow, that would have been bad if I would have picked seven, wouldn't it? Sushi would probably have left the party. Susie leaves Mar Mario's party for Luigi's party. Yes, I do. Question. What is the name of the star kid who always, who's always with Princess Peach? Well, it's not Gleam or Glow, so it, we all know it's Twink. Way to add two Gs to be the wrong answer. So, that was, there's one more question, without a doubt. I mean, I hopefully he tells me that it's the end, so I'm not running around the world looking for him. Hopefully, right? And if that's the case, I, I hope it's, I hope it's an easy one. You know what? No, free. It's going to be an easy one. There you are. Ka Wiz is everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo. I know it's a pity, but this is our final quiz show. Time for the grand finale. Oh, I should have saved. No, I did save. It's good. It's all good. I'm a man of a million questions, but this is the last one of 64 questions. You Actually, 64 times 2, because he always asks me, do I want to try the quiz? So that's 128. So, w w yes. Let's get to the final epic showdown question of the world, and here it is! How many Star Spirits have you saved in total? Um, I... there's only seven Star Spirits. 
This this better not be a trick. Okay, good. Congratulations! This is my last prize, a final star piece for you. Thanks for playing. You've managed to correctly answer all 64 questions. Incredible! Never in all my years did I think I'd find someone who had all the answers. This is truly a momentous and exciting day. I no longer have any regrets. I've reached my peak. I can now reti retire as Quizmaster. No, Chuck Quizmo! He he, really you flatter me. I, I, oh, okay. I was saying no. Perhaps our paths will cross again someday. Till then, so long, farewell. <gasps> Bye! He changed it up! Bye! Oh my goodness! Chuck Quizmo has left the building, everyone. I'm saving. Heck yes. Well, enjoy your sleepy time, Pixels. You deserved it. You managed to stick around until I finished off all the quizzes. Which doesn't leave very much left for me to do. To actually get going and take on Bowser. Except now I have to... Oop, um, I have to, uh... Uh, da, 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 buy all the badges that I can actually buy. And then... Good night, Pixels. Have a good one. Take care. See you around. It's green, by the way. Uh, the, the other pipes that are not shortcuts to other places are different colors. There we go. Confirmed. Not the Illuminati, just the pipe. Fifty to fifty, sixty-four to sixty-four. There's two star pieces I'm uh, missing. Oh no. And eleven badges. Oh no. Okay, well enemy first strikes are still zero. I managed to get picked off a lot in this live stream, but uh, I've managed to remedy that off camera and get back to where I was. I'm hoping two badge pieces two star pieces is left in Bowser's place somewhere. Because I did go through the world with my peekaboo. Not peekaboo. I spy. And find them. Unless there's one hidden in a tree or I gotta jump somewhere. Oh boy. I'll worry about that next episode. I'll, I'll hopefully have questions answered. But yeah, that is all the Chuck Quizmos' questions done. I'm, that took a little longer, but that's I'm just glad it's done. You got to see it all here, so... Thank you everyone for showing up and watching. If you like what I do, hit those buttons. You know what I do by now. And you know what they do by now. Not what I do. I don't even know what, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> so yeah, see you in the next episode. Take care everyone.